I'm Brendan Barry. I'm a photographer, educator and camera maker. This is my new camera. This is the shipping container camera. I'm currently sat here in Northern Hay Gardens in Exeter and we'll be here for the next two, two and a half weeks photographing with this new camera, running workshops and capturing hopefully some kind of portrait of the community around here. A big part of my photographic practice is the conversion of objects uh, or spaces into cameras. I've built cameras in the past from a loaf of bread, watermelon, a pineapple, a mannequin. I made a digital projector once out of an old overhead projector and a desktop scanner. I've made cameras out of a log, Lego, cardboard. Uh, and then kind of scale has risen, the caravan shipping container. I even recently transformed uh, the 46th floor of a skyscraper in, uh, in New York into a camera. What's exciting about this way of working is that if you point a normal camera at someone, they'll kind of respond in their normal way. But if you point a camera made out of a watermelon at someone or a shipping container, you get kind of slightly different and sometimes quite interesting and exciting reactions. So building it was relatively quick actually. I've been, I'd been planning it for quite a while. Um, so a number of the elements like the front wall and then the kind of electric system and the pump system, I'd kind of been designing and kind of thinking through for a fair bit. And then bringing it all together was fairly quick actually. Um, it was just a matter of painting the outside. A good, really good friend of mine, Ben Noyes, um, he designed and it's actually vinyl stickers on the outside. And that obviously helps with kind of drawing people's attention to the thing. And then on the inside, it was just a matter of painting it black, building the wall, a bench at the back, and a few of the kind of systems inside, fans and ventilation, some more advanced water pump systems, solar power as well. This front wall moves back, so it's wheelchair accessible, and obviously a little bit more sturdy and stable. I was really lucky to have the help of some amazing students um, and various people that have sort of got on board and helped out along the way. Brendan approached photography unlike anyone I've ever, <laughs> ever worked with or ever seen. He's so dedicated to making it a teachable experience and getting people involved within it. For Brendan it's entirely this community effort and community feel where people can really express themselves, express how they feel and they learn more than just how to physically take a photograph. At the end of the time here, I'm going to be transforming this container from a camera into a gallery and exhibiting all of the work that we've made in the container, in the container. Okay, let's go. I dubbed this thing at the right at the beginning, the you know, uh, giant community camera or something. It's a kind of working title and it really feels like that. It feels like a kind of community of people came together to, to help create this, um, this, this thing. So you wave it around. Three, four, five. A number of the groups I've worked with, I've worked with students from Exeter College and Exeter School of Art where I teach, who've also been big supporters of this project. Um, students from Exeter Deaf Academy, um, who were, and of course that was a really fascinating experience working um, with people with hearing impairment in a kind of dark space where 
you have to, you know, either be a signer there who would be communicating, translating what I would be saying. Um, but it was a really, the group, both groups that I worked with were just so fantastic and really enthusiastic and, and engaged and amazingly creative and, um, and really kind of, uh, they, those workshops in particular came kind of real collaborations. Um, other groups I've worked with are a local youth group called Freefall and another group that worked with people with special learning needs um, called Freefall Plus. Um, we've also had groups in from the foyer, which is a local kind of social housing charity. Um, and as I said, on top of that, just open to the public each, you know, on a number of days so people can come and just wander in and, and uh, yeah, hopefully um, have an interesting experience. While there's such a big emphasis on this being an experiential uh, way of shooting, an experiential based camera, the actual finished images themselves are inherently beautiful and carry, each of them carries that story of how they were made, the way the chemicals are poured, the way they've reacted. Each of those is completely unique and I think people really responded well to that and love that their individual time with this camera has been immortalised in this one-off prints that really can't ever be recreated. Another slow step backwards. Okay, hold nice and still, Evelyn, this way. 